what is going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new video i'm sure all you guys are wondering how do i get on black ops 7 and how do i overclock my controller overclocking your controller means if you're playing on pc that you will not experience any delay if you just try to play on pc with a controller you will get a delay if you do not overclock your controller so i will be explaining to you how to do that and if you're also struggling to get on what you need to do to enable the TPM 2.0 and to also have your secure boot on. It's the new way Call of Duty is trying to crack down on some of the cheats in the game. So you need both of those enabled and on to be able to get on the game. If you do not do that, you will not be able to get on the game and play. So here's a tutorial showing you guys how to do that. Let's start off with the overclock because overclocking is very important or you will be playing the game, but you will be delayed. Your movement will be delayed, aiming in shot. Everything will be delayed. So. What you're going to want to do is go to this link. I put the battlebeavercustoms.com link and all this stuff in the description and the comment down below. So you can go there to check it out. And what you're going to want to do is go to overclocking program, download and installation. I've had this on my computer for a very long time. It is safe. I promise you, you're going to download that. And usually it's a zip file, but since I already have it on my computer, I'm able to just open it up like this. Uh, then you're going to want to go to driver setup and the goal is to have yes a thousand rate and one for your wireless controller this is what you need to find and if you have a uh ps5 controller it can actually get up to i believe eight thousand rate uh but i still use over there i still use a scuff 4 ps so what you're gonna need to do usually when you start it will show your controller as it will be like red and it will be i think a 10 i think it will say 10 for this and what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna click on this. You're gonna wanna put filter device on and then click install service. And then after that, you're gonna wanna put this on a thousand and install service again and click okay to get the full overclock. And then after you do both of those things, you will unplug your controller, you will plug it back in, and then you should see it go to a um, thousand and then also one to make sure that is when you're good that your controller is overclocked um and then of course you guys need to be able to extract your files because usually it is in a zip folder so usually you would just click over it extract all extract it to somewhere on your desktop wherever you want to put stuff in your computer files but that is how you will overclock your controller and like i said a 4ps controller can go up to a thousand and then the ps5 can go all the way up to eight thousand i haven't used a ps5 so i've never done that one specifically i actually probably will be switching that controller soon though but uh, that is how you overclock your controller to experience no delay. And it's very important for you to be playing at your best because if you are not overclocked, you will not be playing at your best and everything will be a little bit clunkier, clunkier and laggier in game. And here's a quick tutorial on how to be sure your TPM 2.0 and your secure boot are enabled to be able to play Black Ops 7. First, press the Windows key, type in MS info and press enter. In the system information window, look for the BIOS mode. It should say UEFI. Right below that, check secure boot state. It should say on. If BIOS mode does not say UEFI, you won't be able to use secure boot. And if secure boot state is off, you'll need to enable it in your BIOS. Next, press Windows key plus R and type in TPM.MSC and hit OK. A window will pop up showing you the status of your TPM. If you see the TPM is ready for use and the specification version is 2.0, you're all set to play Black Ops 7. If you don't see that message, you will need to enable TPM in your BIOS. The easiest way to get there is press the Windows key, type in Advanced Startup Options and open it. Under Recovery Options, select Restart Now. Every motherboard manufacturer uses a different BIOS key. So if you want to enter the BIOS directly, make sure you check your motherboard brand to find the correct key. And hopefully all you will be able to get on Black Ops 7 smoothly, easily. You can start grinding the game and ranking up. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer some comments because I'm sure I probably didn't do the best job of explaining how to do everything. I Hopefully I did a decent job that some of you could understand and get on. But like I said, if I messed up and you guys need any more help, leave it in the comments and I will try my best to reply to the comments and get you guys some help to be able to get you on the game. Because I, I want to see you guys on the game. I want to go against you. Uh, in Black Ops 7, it's going to be fun. But make sure you guys definitely overclock your controllers. Because I'm telling you, if you do not overclock your controllers, there's a huge delay. If you do not overclock your controllers, you are literally putting, your, putting yourself at such a disadvantage. You are playing in the past and it will just 
once you're clocking controller, you will instantly feel the difference. Your gameplay will improve instantly. You will be frying and it's going to be leading to a lot more kills and a lot more wins and a lot more overall fun playing Call of Duty. And then when it comes to the secure boot or the TPM 2.0, uh, hopefully that actually does help with some of the cheats in Call of Duty, because honestly, that's it kind of ruins the game when people cheat, whether it's in public matches, ranked play or war zone. Like there's just so many hackers, especially in the high levels of ranked play or the high levels of war zone ranked. It gets so bad when people are just spin botting, doing everything. So I truly hope this is some kind of a fix. I mean, there's usually always a way around it. It's going to happen, unfortunately, but hopefully this can just help decrease some of the numbers of hackers because it was really bad the last couple of seasons. And, uh, we, you know, we all just want to be able to play a video game that we all enjoy and don't have to deal with. There's already other, so many other things to rage about in the game that the last thing you want to rage about is also people that are literally hacking and cheating and there's nothing you can do about that so like i said hopefully this video helps you guys and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments down below i will try to answer it to you guys and i will see you guys on the black ops 7 servers have fun uh go crazy and definitely practice that movement practice the wall bounce practice the omni movement still because it's still on movement in the game and you got you're gonna have to get cracked in this game so a lot more videos coming from the settings tips and tricks all that good fun stuff I will see you guys in the next in the next video. If you guys made it to the end, you are a real one. And as always, my name is Attach, and I'm out. Peace.